and that means you can upgrade something. So say um, I can, or I have enough um, flasks or seeds to upgrade my flasks, that's what I do. I'm gonna come and do it once right now. Yeah, for real, honest goodness. I understand why they freaking postponed Breath of the Wild 2 for next year. Nintendo knew they weren't going to be able to beat Elden Ring. If Elden Ring doesn't get Game of the Year this year, I agree. I I don't I've lost faith in Game of the Year cuz this game's just like in 2019 Sekiro Shadows Die Twice got Game of the Year. So, I can't imagine how the Ultimate Souls game wouldn't when it's dominating. I mean, Zero Horizons Dawn was fucked right from the start. It really was. Let me take a look at my notes real quick, if y'all don't mind. Alright, so Wondrous Flask of Physic with the two um, Crystal Tears we obtained over in Miss Woods Minor Earth Tree are going to be the first thing on the list. Um, not bad though, but obviously we got to get a few essentials first. Um, I'm not too sure. Crafting Kit's definitely going to come eventually, but let's just make our way over to... Let me put my auto. Yeah, yeah, we'll put HUD on auto. Why not? Anyways, like I was saying, we're gonna make our way over to Gatefront. Then after we get all the essentials like Summoning Bell, um, Whetstone for the Ashes of War, and obviously Torrent and Melina, so we can punch Vare in the face. Which we are gonna be killing Vare in this playthrough. So if you're wanting to do Varey's questline, you don't know how to do it, stay tuned for the rest of the stream because I'm going to be showing you how. Oh, hello. If only your friend wasn't so rude. <laughs> the fact that that just completely missed me. By the way, how do I um sound on the stream? Like, is it going in and out? Or is it like staying consistent? I'm very paranoid about um, my microphone and my voice on streams, especially audio. Like, am I getting drowned out is usually what I'll ask. And I do apologize if the quality does go down at some points in time. Alright, we can probably kill him. Nice. No consistency? Really? So it's in and out? Oh, it's consistent. Never mind, never mind. Alright, thanks. We're almost there. I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, for literally just running through the first little part of the game here to get all of the items that are necessary, to be honest. I mean, if you want to pick up Melina, I don't know what you would want to pick up. I mean, Torrent and Melina are both coming at same package, you know what I'm saying? So, they're kind of like, you need to get them if you want to level up and stuff. I couldn't imagine going through this game without Torrent. Just on foot, that's miserable. The game's too long. The world's just way too big, but there's Spectral Steve Whistle. Yeah, apparently it's a finger whistle, so just... I don't get it. People can play the finger flute. I don't know how people can do the hand flute. That stuff's just, like, on a whole nother level of skill. That's, like, dexterity at, like, 99. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're gonna go here. Put on the Spectral Whistle. Damn, first two days? I... When I first got on Elden Ring... My first, I think I streamed it actually, but when I first hit Elden Ring, um, I literally just went straight to Limgrave and just did my Guts Great Sword video, which is now the most successful on the channel, so thank you guys so much. If you're watching on replay too, love you all. I, I'm, I'm looking to the wrong webcam. I keep thinking that I'm playing on PlayStation, even though I am, but I'm not streaming on it. But yeah, I have two webcams. I got the OG one, which is the one I'm looking at right now, the all you beautiful people. And I'm looking into my PlayStation $60 one, which is literally no better than this one, in my opinion. But that's PlayStation for you, you know? They gotta make a quick buck. Run me down $20 dry, or $60 dry, damn it. Yeah, two days, I agree. <laughs> that's something that got so many people subbed. Over Almost 40,000 views. Honestly, goodness, it's all about views. Yeah, I'm glad you got that value. All right, let's hurry up and go to Ronnie before it becomes too late. Or it's too late in the morning, I guess. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, that's the way I got so many people subbed. I'm gonna be honest. Whew. Hello, Ronnie. I'll take that bell. Also, something interesting that Tyler told me is that the bell here that you can get is... 
actually doesn't have the lure if you don't get Ronnie's or Jesus Christ if you don't get Ronnie's if you don't get it from Ronnie if you buy from the mains I believe it doesn't have the lure added to it which is really interesting I didn't know that but yeah so I guess it's just some random dude on just some dude on the internet it's probably your first time or you've been with us for a long time okay so now we've gotten that um, we're gonna go back to gatefront um, physic we are gonna go over to Mistwood jellyfish shield we go and grab up if I am correct and not mistaken we get over in Larunia the lakes which we might end up doing before Godric. I'm actually expecting to get the giant crusher which is the hammer we're getting for this build um, over first before I fight any of the major bosses Dr. Patches Jr. will likely be the only one I'm going to fight. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I might take on Dr. Patches Jr. first. Two months? I mean, you can say that's new, but to me, that's not... Like, with my upload schedule, and, like, how many videos I made, over 103 videos on the game, you think that you know me by now. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is we're going to... Ooh, three. Okay, we have enough to buy the... -na 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 -na. Shut up, Kayla. Just give me the crafting kit and take my money. All right. Or runes. All right, we're going to go back to first step. We're going to make our way over to Dr. Patches Jr. I'm also going to act like I'm playing the game, but actually I'm looking up how to get the Jellyfish Shield again. So... Don't worry though, I can actually still see what I'm doing because my other monitor's over here. Jellyfish shield location, Elden Ring. Uh, I have my Siri on the Australian accent, it's fucking amazing. Hmm. What is that? Oh, it's like some four belfries? Wow. I really overcomplicated that one then. Anyways, if you guys are wondering where I'm going now, I'm actually going to fight Dr. Patches Jr. and pray for me against Nergarius. <laughs> I don't understand. I understand people don't have the soul's logic of veterans like me, but... Like, the fact that you think that Tree Sentinel is an op- is a mandatory boss fight when you can literally never thought about maybe running away from him. Like, that's like what I did. Like, I just ran around him to go and grab my stuff. Or no, I didn't even go in Tree Sentinel's direction. I think I went straight to Caleb my first time playing through. Or I went in the opposite direction to go and fight the, um, Burial Watchdogs, which for some reason oddly look like cats. Yeah, I don't know why- Turtles are dogs and you know things that look like cats clearly or things that look yeah things that look like cats are called watch dogs. I've never understood it. Alright. Thankfully most of these dudes aren't too bad, but fuck you Nigerius for doing that. Yeah, he's definitely not too good when it comes to his bleed. It gets kind of Oh wait, I wild strikes on this. Let's see if we can stagger him. Yeah. Oh shit, let's not die though. Because those two Nergerius Reduvia daggers can really fuck you up. Nah, that's one of the worst feelings. You get Golden Bow off his um, Halbert though, which is cool. But yeah, the army, you got to go quite a, f quite a bit far before you get it. Yeah, it sucks. It would have been cool to get his armor too right from the start. But now you get his armor and I believe his the Great Shield. No, the Great Shield you get in the capital. Never mind. You get the armor by doing that little thing with the chariots and the one... I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it's one of the Saints Graves over next to the Liondel. Capital of royalty or whatever the hell. It's not bad. We're going to take down Dr. Patches Jr. real quick so we can not only unlock him as a vendor, but also get his... Um, will not get his, I guess it's his teleportation chest. But everyone in chat, I want to know right now, how many of you are familiar with strength weapons, just so I can see what we're dealing with. 
and how much you can learn from me because we're also going to Altless Plateau not only to get that weapon but also Great Star too, which is another one we don't need to fight any bosses for. But here we go, Doctor Patches Junior, or as we say, Doctor Patches Junior. And I'm already getting my ass beat. Ugh. No, Doctor Patches, I'm not dying to you. Not today. Nice. Let's get that nice little back rub. Yes. No, no, no. You're not getting that, Dr. Patches Jr. You can forget about it. Kiss that ass spray shit goodbye. Oh shit. I thought it was going to hit me. I'm not. I've never died to Dr. Patches Jr. and I refuse to. I command thee to kneel. Or grovel for mercy. Yeah, exactly. Because heavier um, equipment load means your stamina takes longer to recover, and that could be worse. Yeah, ex me too. I would say Guts Greatsword is by far one of the most hyped weapons in the game. Like, when the game first released. That's just my opinion, though. Many people will probably end up saying, nah, Giant Crusher. And anyone, again, who hasn't watched Rage and Gaming's vids, that one um, video, you probably know what I'm talking about with the uh, Babysitter Gargoyle. If not, um, you're going to find out eventually on the stream. But yeah, um, we're just going to let Dr. Patches Jr. do his own old thing. We're going to wheel and deal. We hit up the grace for a reason. Just got to go right there. Don't need to worry about too much else. Um, if you have 5,000 runes right now is the best time to spend them to get Morgoth Shackle. Which will be an incredible benefit when we have to fight not only Merigat but also Morgoth in Royal Capital. No, stay away from me Dark Souls 2 looking enemy. Actually, we forgot to get the chest with the mushrooms. Should we do that? Mm. Well, anyways. What we're going to do instead is go over to um, our inventory. Ah, shoot. Okay, yeah. So, we can't get anything really good from him. So, instead, we're just going to go into the chest and let it teleport us to Miss Wood. This will be the best thing we've got. But, yeah, like I said before, um, strength weapon-wise, we're going for not only... Um, well, Giant Crusher, but we're going to go. I'm going to try to use Great Star with Prelate's Charge, but we're quite far away from Prelate's Charge. It's interesting, though, you can get to all this plateau without fighting any bosses at all. Just running to two forts is enough. Nah. Mine's definitely Arcane. Bleed. Reduvia. Check out my merch. I literally have a shirt with me as Joker holding a Reduvia. Reduvia is my favorite weapon in the game. And by far, it's bleed arcane builds are my favorite. And I'm, don't you dare say I'm one of them people that just uses rivers of blood. If you see my um, PvP vids, I ain't that type of dude. But, you never know. Anyways, we got that. That's what we actually needed. Oh my goodness. I accidentally pressed the share button. It's just giving me a whole freaking tutorial like I care or something. Alright, um, we do want to pick up that mushroom, though. I'm not really too big on mushrooms. Oh, okay. Wait, did we pick up the... Yeah, okay, we picked up the map. I was about to say, you can't unlock that area unless you pick up the map. Trip myself up there, but we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess you could say, though, that Reduvia builds... I actually check out that video if you haven't already in my Elden Ring playlist on when I make the Reduvia build and show you how to get the Raging Wolf set right from the start of the game. Pretty good vid, but anyways, I digress. Um, I don't really care about getting Blasphemous Claw for Malekith. I think Malekith on his own we should be able to handle by the point we get to him. Plus, I've never been good at parrying his Black Blade attacks. But I am going to get Burnout set because Burnout sets kick ass, alright? Well, actually, I counter rivers. I have a whole video on how to counter rivers of blood. If anyone's interested, check out an Elden Ring playlist. I don't know how many times I got to mention that. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I do a lot of PvP, and I don't respect people that use rivers of blood. Because it's just L2 spamming. If I have um, Golden Parry on me, you're done. Like, it's badunk, and I'm just parrying you. Or, what I'll do instead is use Bloodhound Step and then give them a taste of their own medicine with my Swarm of Flies. <laughs> oh. 
which check out that stream when I did Roderico's build. Also, videos in the description below because that was really good. I'm talking about we knocked. I was like people of rivers of blood. Maybe like one or two got me, but overall I did pretty good for PvP, especially since I wasn't using bullshit. Anyways, yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying the stream so far. Now we got our physic going. I'll show you what we need and why we need it. Um, with our mix of physic. Crimson isn't going to be too helpful to us for the time being, but maybe I might try using it. Overall, neither we're going to use Spiked eventually. Spike Cracked here is going to be good for when we need to... Oh my goodness. Cracked here is going to be good for when we actually get our hands on the Giant Crusher, because that's going to allow our charge up attacks to become more powerful but i think for the time being we're just going to go for good old half health restore with stamina recovery boost or stamina boost so that's third church or marika um we are going to actually go down to fort hyatt um we're not going to talk to mr hyatt though we're just going to go down there we're going to pick up the half of the medallion and then we're making our way to oh yeah they do more people will do drop by, some will say hi, others will stay around for most of the stream or all of it. I do appreciate the people that support it. We got, I do, I am very surprised actually by people that donate. You know, you don't have to do it. I don't expect them at all, but when I get them, it's like that little treasure you find like in the needle in the haystack. I mean, just that and talking to people that are nice and aren't toxic is enough for me. But still, it's awesome if you want to support the content. Which I do think that I, honest, because I don't even do this for like, I know I have ads on my videos, but come on, who don't want to get paid? But overall, I really do just like do Elden Ring, these types of streams, just because I genuinely enjoy talking to you guys and just playing Elden Ring. Just streaming, having on the Royal Guard set, it's, it's the life. Ain't nothing more that I'd rather have than this right here. Honest to God. It, you do, you guys all do mean the world to me. All right. Even if I were to be at zero people watching, I still would play anyways. Elden Ring's my thing. That and when Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. So if you're um, a Zelda fan by a chance, you've got something to look forward to on the channel if Elden Ring starts to get a bit dull or, God forbid, they don't make any DLC. Plus, I have no clue why there's so many tarnished golden sunflowers here. Why? Why is there so many? It feels like a Minecraft seed biome. But anyways, we're going to go here. Yeah, the way I actually presented that just sounded like completely choppy, but I think I got the point across when I brought up the vibe of streaming. If not, well then, just stick around. I don't know, I think the beginning of most streams is when it's really most fun. Get out of here! Stupid demi-humans. Yeah, apparently if you beat the big mama demi-human, they all just cower in fear, which is stupid because you want to kill like the little guys first and then the big one. Oh, wrong way. Hello, dog. Yeah, turtles are called dogs. Again, I don't get it either. But. Okay, it looks like Jellyfish Shield would be next on my list. Believe it or not, for anyone who doesn't know, we can get the Commander's Standard be way before Mountaintops and Giants. I think a lot of people do forget about Commander um, Niel. That's over in the Aconia Swamp in Kaelid. He is a boss you could run to right from the beginning of the game, but I think a lot of people forget that he drops the commander standard. I am thinking of getting Mimic Me, and I'm definitely going to do Ronnie's side quest. It ain't an OG run, um, Elden Ring, overpowered playthrough stream if I don't do Ronnie's side quest, because you know I need to Blythe Fit. Fit? Fit? You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I need to Blythe Fit. Ugh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to pronounce. Uh, favorite boss for you, Elden, yeah, I love Elden Beast soundtrack, it's my favorite in the game. That or Redon's, just because of the vibe it hits, it hits so different and hard compared to all the others. My favorite boss would either be between Redon and Melania. Melania was just, it lived up, she lived up to the hype 100%, but Redon's, like, feature, you even fight by your husband, though, what's, like, Dr. Patches Jr., Onika with his rivers of blood... Um, oh, fucking A, but anyways, yeah. You got, like, the whole freaking festival features kick ass. I mean, the boss himself's a huge motherfucker that rides on a skinny-ass horse, flies through the sky like a plane rocket crashing into the sands, 
and uses gravity sorcery. There you got yourself Dr. Patches Jr., Onika, the Rivers of Blood dude. I think Bernal even joins us for the battle. Um, Husband no Blythe. It's just crazy. Like, it's a lot. Um, there's just so much going on in that battle. It's probably one of my favorites. Harry, welcome to the stream. How's your day or night been? Glad you could stop by. Unlucky? Nah. Uh-uh. That's not unlucky. <laughs> Trust me. Stop by on some other streams. That's unlucky. I've had really bad times, but this is pretty chill. Honestly, goes, I don't even need to fight him. I don't know why I fought him for. Uh, that was unlucky right there. Me getting my ass blown up. But anyways. I'll go up here. Jesus Christ. Someone really wants my ass really bad right now. Well, too bad. You're not getting it. Anyways. Um, like I was saying before, I would say Radon's my favorite, but like from more of a musical standpoint as a boss fight, but I would still go with Melania if that makes any sense at all. And yeah, no, fuck you. Oh, yeah, we're dead. I stand corrected, which I will not complain about. Always hope for good times. I mean, I'm, I always have a good time streaming. Unless it's against Fire Giant, because that shit just as hell. But, yeah, I always have fun streaming with you guys. And I always support your support or enjoy your support or no. Jesus Christ, that's not the right word. I appreciate your support. Can you tell I haven't streamed in a while? Well, that's a lie. I streamed two days ago, but still. Thank you. Nomadic Cookbook. Hello, lanky dudes. If we kill him, you can farm this dude to get his um, pumpkin helmet. I have a little video on it. Not that I think his helmet's that great to today's standards, since you know Vare's white mask, which we're going to be doing. Oh, shit. We're really getting our ass destroyed here. So now what we're going to do is make our way over to... Um, ah, I can't do that. Oh, nice little backstab right there. Not that it's worth it because this dude's on my booty, but got told it. Alright, so we got that. Now we're gonna go over to. I don't know. Should we do Kaled first or Larunia? If we do Larunia, then we can get um, Jellyfish Shield. But if we do Kaled, then we can access. Doo -doo -doo. Let me just hit that up real quick. Okay, but like I was saying, if we do Larunia first, we get Jellyfish Shield. But if we do Caleb first, we can get our hands on... Uh, you know, I don't want to fight Commander Niall yet. I think we'll go for Caleb. What do y'all think, Caleb? Radigan's is the glorified version of the main theme in this game. For real. And to answer um, your question, Miles, yes, I do like bacon. I fucking love it. I love the fuck out of bacon. Whoever invented it was clearly a god or goddess. That shit's so fucking good. But yeah, I would say for me, it would definitely be probably Radigan as like a fourth place. Godfrey would probably be in like my top five, probably number five spot. But I would definitely say that um, for me, it would probably be Elden Beast at number one, then Elden Beast. Radon at number three, um, Radigan to go in order at number four spot, and then Godfrey at number five, and probably Melania at number six. I probably should have killed all the rats first. Let me just start hacking and slashing and pray to goodness I don't get freaking staggered. Should I? Eh, I should have bought the Balchin's Blushing. That was my bad. These guys aren't too bad. I have Reduvia, even though I can't use it effectively. But that's not going to be too much of a big deal. It did. Bacon descended on a silver platter. I fucking hate Fire Giant. Fire Giant doesn't even have a cool theme either. Like, if Fire Giant had a good theme, I'd be like, yeah, Fire Giant's kick ass, man. Well, literally kicks my ass, but... The song is meh. Anyways... Here's one of the greatest PvP items I see a lot of low-level people use, for good reason. 
Um, a lot of people say that the, um, what's it called? I'm trying to think, what's the one glitch you do with the poison to kill Knight's Calvary? That glitch? People are saying it's not patched, it still works, but I haven't got it to work for like 10 times I've tried. So, if it does, um, let me know in the comments right now, or chat right now. But you can and replay if you want. I do appreciate it. I do think the way I start so many streams is kind of cringe, but anyways, we'll make our way over here. Ta-da, rot grease. Don't need that yet. Rest. Yeah, so, um, I could upgrade right now. Let's see, do I have anything in flasks? Nah. I should have went over to Weeping Peninsula to go and pick up, uh, what are they called? More Sacred Tears? Yes, point that way. Over here, I am going to get myself the first, um, I almost said Poison Spray Mist, um, our first perfume bottle of many, because I do want to use um, the Blood Boil Aromatic. I think anyone that has been on the channel will know that. I haven't made a video on Blood Boils. Yeah, it does. I made a whole villain stream about it. Reduvia is fucking amazing. Like, Reduvia could probably get you all the way to Rivers of Blood right before Fire Giant, so you're ready for that as soon as it hits. Since they're both dex weapons. And I don't need to go this way. Alright, this is where we want to go, because this is where we grab ourselves our first perfume bottle. Yeah. Yeah, but seriously, guys. Um, check out the commission I got from a really, really good artist. And I don't need this. I'm not going to grab that. That's the meteorite staff for anyone who's unaware. Over here is going to be the site of grace. There's two very close sides of grace, which I never understood. But there's one right here. And then there's another one like right beyond the guts memorial place. Never understood that. But Oh incredibly powerful i wouldn't say overpowered i would say they're just super strong it all depends on the wielder um what some of the strongest sorceries early game is definitely rock sling as i dub it dr tyler's world famous meteorites um another one and this one's like crazy powerful in pvp check out my roderica or my roderica build stream i did where i used glintstone or not glintstone carry and slicer Carrion Slicer was destroying, like, everyone. I had to stop using it because it was just too powerful. Carrion Slicer, if you do PvP at low level, is going to be... People are going to rage quit, basically. It, it's that powerful. Like, get in, like, four swings, and they're probably going to die. Um, the only downside is that it uses MP, and it can be parried. So, you should be careful of that if you decide to use it. But overall, I would say that um, Carrion Slicer is probably the most overpowered non-twink sorcery you could use at early game in pvp rock sling will definitely carry you probably i mean it carried tyler like through almost the whole game up till godfrey so it was really good for him i would say that meteorite or rock sling is by far the best um early game sorcery you could get or at least gravity sorcery um you also get the meteorite staff right there too so it's not even like you really got to worry about much but the one thing I will tell you is overpowered is Draconic, tr no, I almost said Tree Sentinel, Draconic um, Communion. Draconic Communion is incredibly powerful. Uh, Kamehameha is definitely incredibly powerful. Estelle Meteorite is another fucking fantastic one. But I don't know if I would say that eh, Estelle Meteorite is good. I don't know. I, it's just kind of hard to pull both of them off at times. But yeah. Up to that point, I, I think we can all agree that Falling Beast Star Jaw is by far one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Staggering, mega damage, low MP consumption. The only real problem I have with it is its weight and its requirements to use. But other than that, it's pretty powerful. Uh, do we want Balch's Blessing yet? Nah. Um... Ooh, we should pick up Vernal's after this, actually. It's a good idea. I don't know if we're much of a challenge for him right this second, but I do plan to pick up um, Bestial Incantations from the Clerigman. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, 
Nothing of particular interest yet. We don't need a heater. Uh, I don't really have the faith for... Hmm. Guess we just came here just to take a look-see around. Let's go back to Caleb, yeah? Uh, here it is. So now we're going to go and pick up Guts Great Sodo. The video I'm sure all of you have seen by now who are watching. Hey, let's look at my coffee because we're going to need it. Mm. It's a Zelda cup. You just can't see it because the coffee's not hot. But it's one of those cups where an image is like hidden until heat reaches it and then like shows it. It's really cool. If you have one of those cups, let me know in the, or mugs, my bad, mugs in the chat or comment sections below. Let me know and tell me which, which uh, one you have. Sorry, I choked on freaking water there, but anyways. Grab this before the boys get angry. Oh, look, it's Big Bird. Yep, this game's great, isn't it? This isn't it? Let's get the fuck out of here before we die. Oh, sweet. Get, welcome to the stream. Or gadget get DH. Welcome to the stream, man. Which one you got? Okay, now we've done that. Um, we're gonna head over to... Radigan's Hammer? Yeah. I don't actually... I've only used Marika's, if that's what you mean. Marika's Hammer is crazy cool. When I would use Marika's Hammer, I would say maybe like... Harry Potter. Oh, sweet. We all got the high fantasy vibe going on here. I like that. Yeah, let's get into it. Alright, um, we have to make our way over to Dragon Barrow, but I'm almost positive I'm going the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm going the opposite direction. This is the one. I was getting the two Divine Towers mixed up. This is, um, Kaelid's. I don't know which one that is, actually. I'm not, I can't recall off the top of my head, but if anyone knows, it's interesting. That one over there, I don't know which one that is. Well, we're doing pretty good, guys. I appreciate everyone stopping by the stream and watching me. This is really fun so far. Hope you guys are having fun. I haven't gotten 8,000 yet. And even though I will pick up Radigans, I don't see a point in really using it. Fuck yeah. I've had the Switch and Breath of the Wild since day one. But even before that, I've been a Zelda fan since I was like in third grade. Yeah, I do agree. All the games are good. Unlike Fire Giant and Elden Ring. I don't know if we're going to ever need Sombers, but I think I'll pick up a few. No, not Renuvia. Definitely Rivers of Blood. Sorry, I can't do it. I'm trying to make my oh, my eyebrows go as fast as possible when they do the different, different thing, but I can't do it. Renuvia is really good for beginning game, but definitely not Renuvia. Rivers of Blood. I'm one of those boys. Actually, Rivers of Blood, or um, one of my favorites, or other favorites, I should say, would definitely be like Falling Beastar Jaw, or, damn, I'm trying to think off the top of my head here. I think he's going to fall over and die. I don't want to fall with you. Oh my god, will you get over here? I don't want to fall with you. There we go. Oh my, you know, we're going down here anyways, fuck it. Get out of here. Sweet, there's plus eight. We're doing pretty good. Um, Falling Beast or Jaw. I really feel like the only one I use is like Dual Rivers of Blood, honestly. You can thank Xander Joe for that. Oh my god, we took a good amount of damage there. Alright, down here is a plus nine. Yeah, plus eight and plus nine are so close together with Sombers. Ooh, Atria Leaves are gonna be really good for later on with our. Um, Perfume making, but other than that, yeah, probably dual rivers of blood. If you're gonna ask me about my favorite fashion soul, it would definitely be like Blythe's, um, ooh, excuse me, um, probably Black Wolf Mask with the thick, curvy, the thick, curvy, um, Royal Knight armor that Loretta uses. My god, what did they do with that armor? They just made that so curvy. I love it. Thick thighs save lives, huge hips, do something else really good for this world. I don't know. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know 
any good ones for huge hips. Someone think of the one in the chat right now. Like a thick thigh, save lies, but for hips. And then we'll get back to that later. But right now, um, we aren't going to pick up Radigans. But we are definitely going to pick... Uh, you know, do I want Radigans? We could just upgrade my strength right now. Because we need 40 strength in order to wield the Giant Crusher with two hands. Which is going to be good enough for now. Instead of just pumping up to 60 right away. Because we want to try to balance out our stats while we can. Um, I'll throw in the strength right now. Yeah, that's like... Actually, no, no. Um... I'm putting the Vigor. There we go. So now I don't have to worry about losing... Actually, let me make sh Okay, never mind, never mind. Let me just use, like, one or two of these. Okay, that should be enough to level up. But yeah. Um... I don't know. Arcane or Faith? I think we're gonna need a bit more decks. I'll throw one into decks. But we're going to make our way up and into Fort Feroth to get ourselves the second half of the Dectus Medallion. And then we will be ready to go and get Crystalline Ashes. And, of course, go to Altus Plateau. Altus Plateau is probably my favorite area in the game. Either that or Kaelid. Anyone who's checked out my Twitter earlier, um, I posted this real- I saw this really cool thing on Reddit on the Dark Souls 2 subreddit where this one poster made this thing where they he basically just put a bunch of emojis that would like signify a location or some type of character or weapon in the game and I thought that's a pretty good idea so I go on Twitter and if you want to go ahead and comment see if you can figure out which ones I've done for Elden Ring but basically I have people on Twitter try to figure out what the emoji stands for that I made in Elden Ring, if that makes any sense. And oh god, rat, please leave me alone. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on it. It's basically, I have people guess what the emoji combo means from Elden Ring. And my god, I still think that sounds horrible. Either they kill me or I'm getting the hell out of here. But yeah, my Twitter is in the description below if you want to go follow it. Should we try what? Okay, so um, we got Radigan Sorceal and the Dectus Mendelian. Radigans we're not using. No, 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 no. Bad, bad Warui. We're not using it. But what we are going to need to use are these two Dectus halves. And more importantly, um, we're going to make our way down to the Celia Crystal Tunnel to grab ourselves the Crystallian Ashes, which are going to be by far some of the strongest ashes we can get so far. Don't get me wrong, Pupper Boys are great. They basically carry me my first playthrough for through I'd like to say like the first like four bosses of the game but overall Crystallian is fucking fantastic combo huh are we talking about emojis here or are we talking about fashion souls with the thick thighs and um <laughs> Blythe's um mask head thingy whatever with the two Rivers of Blood. You know, I'm just probably sounding coherent up to this point, so let me just keep going with this. It's hard. Streaming, talking, playing the game, figuring out what I gotta do. Oh, I already did it. Check out my um Discord. We're not well actually, yeah, go and check out my Discord and join if you haven't already, guys. In the description below. I appreciate it a lot. We could always use more members over there who love Elden Ring. Help me out on vids. Talk to me if you want. Send me a DM. But anyways. Yeah, I've done the emoji thing on my Twitter. Check it out. I count on all of you. It's kind of hard to navigate this area in the dark, but, uh... We're almost there. We need these budding cave moss to make certain, um... Perfumes. Again, focusing really hard here, because this part can get very stressful. Because we got a very strong and beefy... Minor sorcerer dude here. Oh my god. And then we have to take on some Rhea Lucarian sorcerers. Oh shit, fucking A. Anyways. We have to take on some Rhea Lucarian sorcerers down there. Which are right next to the chest that has the crystalline ashes. So I have to wait a second to open the chest. Then the spam triangle to actually pick it up before I die. I actually died there. Not a big deal. I can just run back and grab more 
materials. So in the end, it works out because again, um, we are going to be using quite a few of our perfume spells, which are going to require this. I don't know exactly if Blood Boil needs it or not, but I'm still going to pick it up just in case I want to use Uplifting or Spark, which are two of the best. We're probably going to end up going to the Perfumer Ruins as our first stop in Altless Plateau. Oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking of if we went through the other way. I don't know. Maybe Magma Worm wouldn't be a bad idea, but we can't even fight him because we're not going to have a good strength weapon. Oh my god, Ren. What the hell are you doing? I don't even care about the runes. There's only like zero anyways. Okay. Enough of being cringy. Let's do some Super Mario parkour and get our ass down to the Crystallian Ashes. Ah, <sighs> this is the life, boys and my ladies. Running through a cave completely in the dark and trying to find Crystallian Ashes. Hope y'all are listening up here and watching, because... This part here, if you fuck it up, um, you're going to have to run all the way back from the side of grace. So look down. Land here. Land here. It doesn't matter. Just open up the chest. Grab your crystalline ashes and then just let them kill you. They're using carrion slicer. Carrion slicer all day long in PvP, man. But anyways, freeway, how you doing? Heo. Heo. I don't know if that's supposed to be high, but... Um... Heo to you too, sir. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And join in with everybody who's on Twitter right now instead of watching the stream who is um, participating in my figure out what the emoji combination means for Elden Ring characters. If you would like, you can go and do that and follow my other socials and join my Discord server. But anyways, now that we've done that, um, we've basically completed most of what we need to do here. We could go up to um, Mr. I'm Not Sated yet, aka the Clarigman, if we want to grab ourselves some bestial incantations, but unfortunately I don't have a deathbed seed in my possession right now. So we're instead just going to go there and hit up the Grace and probably grab ourselves the um, memory stone that is inside of Lena's Rise or... What? Does anyone actually remember the name of it? I forget. Lena's Rise? Lena's Rise? Ah, oh, shit. Anyways. Um, over here, you can get yourself the Rain Arrows, Ashes of War, if you have the painting that you get over in Celia. Hey, hey, thanks. I appreciate it a lot. Just some dude on the internet for stopping by stream support. I hope to see you again, man. Definitely stop by. You're free anytime. But until then... Sayonara. Alright. Have a good rest of your day too. Alright. Let's get back to this boys. We're looking pretty good so far. But yeah. I do appreciate everyone that supports me on the streams. Watches me. You guys should really like. Oh goodness. I wish we could get more people on the stream. I like, guess fun talking to you guys. Unfortunately I don't know if it's the same for everyone else. But I, I like what I have. It's great. You got, sometimes you just have to be help, um, thankful for what you do have rather than what you don't. Would I want more people watching me? Absolutely. As many people enjoy my content as possible, but I'm happy with what I got here. Anyways. Uh, the strength build's actually coming together pretty good. I'm just heading over to Dragon Barrow to... Basically just hit up a side of grace, grab myself a golden seed, and I'll probably end up unlocking the area where Mr. Clarigman's at. So once I get my hands on a deathbed, we'll be able to get him sated up a bit more so I can purchase some bestial incantations, which are pretty good on a strength build. If you're new to strength, um, stick around because you're going to learn quite a bit. Ah, shite. Come on, Torrent. You got to cheer Torrent on. He doesn't want to do it as good. Yeah, but we've been doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Um, let's rise. So, freeway. Have you ever made a strength build or used strength weapons before in Elden Ring? If not, today's your lucky day, sir. There isn't. I don't really see a point 
in trying to do the um whatever they're called fighting the giant crystal thingy or graven mass boss dude that's inside this area he's not really that great to fight to be honest i know a lot of people say oh get bloodhound step and kill the boss here at night time with the glitch but i just haven't got the glitch to work so i'm not gonna bother but how is my um stream and voice sound Anyways, we are doing pretty good. Honestly, goodness, strength was like my playstyle for like all the other Souls games. But like when I came to Elden Ring, I felt like because of the time constraint I had with making content, I thought, you know what, let's go for what we know works and what will actually be guaranteed to get me through this game with relative ease to show my audience. So I said, let's switch it to one of my all time favorite and most iconic builds. With Red Uvia and Rivers of Blood. Arcane builds are boss. But anyways. Um, over here is the... I believe it's... Um, Grey Rail? Boss fight. Um, if you want to fight Grey Rail the dragon, go for it. You're probably going to get smacked at this soul level. I don't really like Grey Rail. All right, but yeah, please let me know how my microphone sounds because I'm very paranoid about my freaking microphone. Oh, good grief. Oh, always going to range strong. What's interesting about this dude is if you actually get the side of grace behind him, reload the area, he will be completely idle if you stand behind him. But if you approach him from the front, Blackbird Kindred, aka Babysitter as I call him, will completely f me up like he just did yeah it's put in perspective just how scaled up kayla is compared to other areas i don't know i mean it's right next to the first area in the game so you think it wouldn't be too bad but ah uh, yes remember when i made a video on how to grind souls and this was like the number one spot i set for farming souls early in elden ring i don't know if i still live up to that or it still lives up to that because it feels kind of mundane. I mean, Mogwin's Palace in Dynasty is by far the best place to farm runes. But you can check out some of my rune farming videos in the Elden Ring playlist down in the description below. But let's try not to die to Babysitter this time. So we use the Tree Sentinel early run around strat by just going completely around. Ha 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 ha, he can't get us. We have the element of surprise. Oh god, we're stuck, okay. So Clarigman's here. Um, we can't do much with Clarigman, unfortunately, since we don't have any deathbed roots, which sucks. If we did, we would be able to give it to him and get some. <laughs> 540. You've outdone Dr. Tyler. Congratulations. Get a round of applause for you, Freeway. Yeah, Tyler only got to like level 460. But yeah, um, I would never invest that much on a character just because of time reasons. Um, when for that amount, you could probably make like two or three fully fledged soul level 150, 60 characters for PvP and PvE content. But anyways, good for you. I'm proud of you. For even having the sanity and patience to that, but alright. So it looks like we've done most of the stuff we have to do here. So, Third Church of Marika. We don't need to do anything in Mistwood. We should head over here, but I want to see what's up with Burrell first. So I think we're going to head over to Larunia. And I'll just test myself against... Oh, yada, yada. I almost forgot. Okay, everyone. I have six characters for PvP. Oh, sweet. I have like 15. Which I've made, if this is your first time here on the channel, first of all, warm welcome. And second of all, um, check out some of my PvP vids because, oh man. If it wasn't for Xander Joe, we wouldn't be having such great content. But anyways. Okay, um. Back to Fort Ferrith. I almost forgot to kill Big Pappy Greyroll himself or Grandpappy Greyroll. Grandpappy Greyroll? Oh, forget it. Just Grandpappy Cinnamon Roll's good enough. 
But anyways, yeah, um, I'm just gonna equip my not enough Dex or Arcane to use Reduvia. And we're just gonna start slashing at this guy. Um, so yeah, I hope Freeway you have a ton of patience because this is where it's gonna come in handy. Oh, sweet. Yeah, Roderick, I think I'm getting really good at making thumbnails now. I'm really proud of that thumbnail in my Roderica build video. I hope you all like it too. So yeah, we just stay within his armpit. We whack at him. And if we don't see bleed proc within two minutes, then, uh... Yeah, he's going to bring our attack and defense down with his roar. But thankfully, we're going to be relying off literally status effect damage anyway. So it's not going to affect it or us at all. If this doesn't work, what I'll usually do is I'll rest at the side of grace. Quit the game, low back in, and then usually it works. I don't know. They didn't change it. You can still proc bleed and other types of stats almost even if you don't have the necessary stat requirements, right? Because that would just be heartbreaking if we didn't. Fortunately, I don't have the arcane, which still sucks. But just in case this doesn't work, um, after about a minute, um, I'm going to have to upgrade dex anyways. I knew it. I think 16 dex is the minimum. But even if it isn't, I can always respec a Renala once we unlock her. But yeah, it looks like this isn't really working out how I intended it. So I'm going to load out and load back into the game. That way we can get this going I'd like to thank everyone who stopped by stream so far I appreciate it and love all you mm. so freeway what made you want to stop by this time to watch some of my Elden Ring stream content your rest at the side of grace too do I even have enough no I don't all right. Might as well unequip the large leather shield because I'm going to be picking up a light shield anyways. I'm thinking I'll pick up the heater um, beast crest shield, I believe is what it's called. Which gives us really good. Um, I was about to say really good decks, but it gives us basically 100% physical protection, the ability to parry, and really good. Um, basically just all around kick-ass light shield but if this doesn't work and doesn't practice bleed within the next minute i would say that i might have to come back once i have enough arcane <laughs> you got two monitors or just got like your phone out or something i don't have my thing on so just well i put it i'm making mashed potatoes and we have Ah, uh, what part of I don't have my thing on? Well, thanks. You've invaded the stream successfully. Do you want your reward? What are you talking about? Yada yada does it. Thank you. I don't have any freaking runes or... I don't know what you want. You probably wanted one of my bloody fingers. You got three monitors. Jesus Christ. I only have one monitor, but I have a giant flat screen TV. And then I use my iPad to monitor the stream. Overall, I'm very impressed by our, um, let me go for another 15 here. I'm very impressed by my quality with this whole remote play. And yeah, I'm almost positive that this isn't gonna proc this bleed. So I'm just gonna wait till I get a katana or something. I mean, I could upgrade for the arcane. I guess I could. Because I don't want to be stuck here for like hours on end. I guess the Reduvia really is just like that then. Fine. I'm going to have to upgrade like 16 decks anyways. And this sucks balls. Alright, let's go for this. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, and I am ready to rumble. I am all ready to go. I'm throwing up these runes.
Yeah, absolutely. That's literally what this build is actually going to become, believe it or not. I'm just literally vibing. Because it's taking like 10 years to fucking make. Yeah, that's literally what this build's going to be. Alright, so what we're going to do here... This has got to be one of the weirdest freaking stats I've ever seen. For being able to wield a weapon effectively, but now we should finally be able to beat Grey Rel. Or, damn it, Grandpappy Gra Grandpappy Cinnamon Roll. Can you tell I'm wired out? Anyways. Let's start swinging. Damage is doing a bit better, but I don't give a shit about damage. What if they patch and he can't take bleed damage anymore? I don't know. What build? Ah, there's the beautiful bleed proc. I mean, yeah. I was told that I should use my whip build on my Roderica build, which I was thinking on doing if I could get my hands on one. I don't know. I mean, that one whip with the fire magma shit that the scorpions or the um, serpents use up in the volcano manor is fucking crazy, dude. Have you seen that shit? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I still manage to beat people with that low level. And I haven't really done much high level PvP because I don't see a point in it. Like, every time that I've done like 75, 120, it's literally just a gank of like three people all using magic and like one shot builds. It's like crazy. I'm like, damn man, how am I supposed to even compete with this? Well, if you're. Well, I'm glad to see that you're watching the stream right now because you have the information you need to make this build right afterwards as long as you don't let people drop you weapons. But not everyone has that luxury. Originally, I was going to do PvP with Xander, but I decided not to. Or Xander Joe. Great guy, by the way. The Magma Whip, is that what's called? Sweet. If you've seen like the scorpion things or the scorpion daggers, Scarlet Rot proc with that, Jesus Christ. And you think Ant Spurn's bad because it's a rapier that causes Scarlet Rot. But Scorpion is just out of this fucking world, dude. Like low level PvP, it doesn't even have like high stat requirements at all. It's incredibly low. Like you can literally just run at people with that. With a few L1s, you're literally going to proc their Scarlet Rot. The only problem with it is if people brought any preservation boluses with them. If they did, then god forbid. I really do hate people that do that. Okay, um... Let me see, what's next on the list? Still Jellyfish Shield, but I do want to get my shunt up to 40 without Radigans. I'm not too, too worried right now about my levels, because again, I can end up respecking at Renala's to fit my character for whatever build I'm going to be doing, which is one thing I do like about Elden Ring, but really hate. Respecking is incredibly easy, sure, and you can basically have your character recustomize whenever you want at the round table, which is also great. But I don't know if I really agree with the fact that it's that easy to just switch your builds around. I mean, again, you still have to get those weapons at that level. And I think you can have them dropped once you reach like max level on both a smithing stone requiring weapon and a somber requiring weapon. But there we go. We knocked the dude down. I'm thinking on taking off this armor, honestly. What do you say we go and try to take down Burnell? Yeah, I like the idea too. Let's go. Well, actually, how, is it 15? I actually have a better idea. I'm going to go and grab myself some Dragon Communion. Yeah, oh my god, Dragon Communion. Whoa, 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 Ren. Is this turned to a faith? Honest to goodness, I'm going to be using Beast Jewel. What were you expecting? I'm using Beast Jewel incantations later on. All right, but 75k runes. Um, first things first. Yeah, 16 decks, and then pop the rest. Oops. Hmm... Oh, I'm freaking stupid. In order to use that, I need to have freaking enough faith. That should be enough, right? Yeah. I have very f little mind, but you'll understand why I'm doing this. Because if I don't want Bernal to be a whole fucking shit show. No, everyone's going to get mad. Like, oh, wow, you're going to start using Dragon Communion. I don't believe you. 
Everyone calm down. I promise. I won't be relying off it. I just need something that good for early game. Because right now is when strength builds are at their weakest. And Ren must be at his highest. But yeah, we basically have to go all the way down here if we want um, Dragon Communion. And thankfully, it should be daytime. So I don't have to worry about any very toxic or obnoxious. Um, wait, you know, I just realized I have Reduvia. I'm stupid, but I have very little mind, so it makes sense. You can forgive me. Oh, wait, I don't have a seal. Damn it, I don't feel like using two sword stone keys to grab myself the... Oh, uh, no. I'm not going to get the seal. I just need a Scarlet Rock proc, and I'm getting rid of it, I promise. I mean, you can rely off just draconic um, incantations or dragon incantations for the whole game and they will take you far. That shit's crazy powerful. But if you're going to do this with just only strength, um, honest goodness, we're still using strength, don't worry. But I want to grab myself Bernal set before he moves over to the Volcano Magner. I don't know, does he go to Volcano Manor as soon as you get there? Or as soon as you enter Altus Plateau? Or is it once you get into Volcano Manor? Does anyone in chat know that? I'm curious. Does Bernal stay in Limgrave until you make it to Ultus? Or is it until you make it to the Volcano Manor? Either way, we're making our way in here. I'm just going to grab myself one incantation. I promise no more after that. It's just to take out Bernal. I'm going to unequip it afterwards. Oh, Slay Night Gale. So nice of you to come in and true without my permission. Anyways, here's Slave Knight Gale's knights in DS1. Or in Elden Ring. Such great people, am I right? I hate Slave Knight Gale's little minions. These dragon community places are so epic, though. Pop that off. Hurry. Slave Knight Gale's coming. Ta-da. Ta-da. Ta-da! Oh my god. Oh wait, I'm invincible? I think it was only for that, actually. So it's spam rolling. Ha ha ha, we made it before him. Okay, everybody. Nobody freak out. I know everybody wants to right now. Everyone's getting incredibly angry that I'm putting Dragon Communion on a, on a strength character. But I promise, this isn't forever. It's just until we kill Bernal. Oh, I have to go to freaking. Uh, we gotta go over to the round table to grab uh, its spell casting um, finger seal. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go to Leisha. Okay, that's. um, Forget his name. At first, I thought that was Hoslo. Anyone even know where Hoslo goes? Listen, I'm trying to get that epic-ass armor set that Brunel uses. Ta-da! Okay. So, now we're gonna hit up... Um... Brunel's spot. But, just before we do that, we're gonna go and talk to Roderica. Grab her stuff, because she's incredibly important. Um, be careful of Falling Fat Bastard. And we're making it real far, but does anyone have any questions? Because now is the best time to answer while we're not doing anything too important. Or anything of incredible significance to the build. You don't even need to really get for now set. If you want, you can wait till he gets over to... Um, what's it called? Not... Okay, yeah, to Volcano Manor when he switches up his outfit. So that you guys can get his other Ashes of War that he sells. Which are really, really good, I should say. Hello, Roderica. Swing sideways, swing about castle. We are going to pick up both of her um, cloaks or hoods. Since we're going to Ultus Plateau anyways, we might as well show that off. So if you're interested in Roderica's um, armor set location, we're going to get that too. But anyways, she also gives us a free golden seed, so it's worth doing. 
I don't think we can level up. Okay, yeah, let's just go to our flask. Yeah, we, how many of you guys think we should go and hit up um, Weeping Peninsula after this? Yeah, I agree. I don't think we should. Yeah. Cock! Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I didn't see the elf for a second there. Yeah. There, if you saw my Roderica build video, you would know that there's the Crimson Hood and the Navy Hood. One boosts your vigor by one point, the other boosts your mind by one point. And this is where he's at, not this way. We are going to be going to Larunia, though. Yeah, the red one's in um, Stormvale Castle after you defeat Godric the Grafted. Or no, it's either after you defeat Godric the Grafted. Or it's after you picked up, um, or no, it's after you've completed Roderica's side quest. That's how you get the Crimson one. Also, there's a strength knot right, right there real quick. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time. We are going to come back because we can get quite a few Sombers here. Or Smithing Stone. So if you're a Smithing Stone weapon fanatic, you've came to the right stream. But overall, we're going to check out um, Bernal. We're going to duel with him. I don't really expect to get too, too far with Bernal. I know everyone calm down. I promise this isn't turning into an arcane bleed build. This is a strength, somewhat little faith build. Ooh, wait, we're really close to the, um, what do you call it? Um, the Golden Val dude. But we're going to go down here. And we're going to check out the Wormster's Shack, which... It must be further down. It's definitely around here, right? Hello, Wormster Shack. Where art thou? Was it here? Okay, you know, how about... Um, the blue one actually is with her armor set. Um, Roderica's Noble's armor set over in Altus Plateau. Like I said before, we're going to actually pick it up on this character. And we're going to Altus Plateau after the... A Larunia, because we're only going to really be picking up one thing in Larunia. Jesus Christ, I should be dead, but anyways. Um, wow, people here really aren't very friendly, eh? Yeah, don't you worry, um, Freeway, we're going to get that for you. Uh, where is Wormster's shack, man? No, not you guys, you guys are boring. Get out of here, stupid foot soldiers. I'm incredibly confused. Alright. Yeah, I'm very, very confused. Where's the sight of grace? Root resin? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Took me long enough. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna rest at the sight of grace. If I can do any more upgrading, now is the time. And... No. Alright, uh... We aren't gonna be buying nothing from him. I know, I know, but I really, really want his armor set now, because it's just so fucking epic. Alright, Brunel, it's time to die. Pick your poison. Too bad I picked it for you. I don't even care if this is a real sin. Yeah, he's really fucking mad now. He still looks like a girl, though, so don't worry about it. You shouldn't have got that close to me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks very awkward, a strength build doing this. Many people are going to get mad. Ah, oh, you're pulling old Brunel, huh? Wow, this guy's got poise, man. That armor set is classy. Wait, does anyone know... If I fuck up his armor set, I heard that the un- is this the original or the alter version? Because he doesn't have the cape on. I mean, he's most likely going to die to Scarlet Rot anyways, but still. Okay, he died. You're an enigma. Eh, shut up, Bernal. Let me grab this stuff from you. Yes! Wait, this is the alter version? No, no epic cape. Unless we can alter it to be epic. 
But yeah, you guys can see that's pretty sweet. Let me actually... There's my hair style. I'm pop these bad boys off. Beast champions. Does anyone know if I can re-alter it? We actually get his armor set too, but I'm not wearing that because that's kind of lame. And I am unequipping my dragon communion because I'm going to be a bit more honorable with this build. Plus, there's not going to be any time for it. So, everyone can chill out. I'm not going to use dragon communion. At least not anymore. We'll equip that nice good old beast crest shield. Ooh, there's one that you need for the platinum trophy right there. Devouter's scepter is pretty cool. That's weird scaling though. But anyways, um, Larunia it is. Also in Larunia, we can pick up a few other things. We can pick up obviously jellyfish shield, but we're also going to get ourselves not only jellyfish shield, but also if I go far enough, I can get myself the golden needle, which should allow me to tailor and alter boss armor. Uh, I'm not too confident fighting this guy yet. I know right now it's just been a lot of just running around and me flapping my gums. Oh, you know what? I really effed up. I should have gotten it. You're right. Damn it. Yeah, let's go get Golden Val. I forgot. There's still so much we haven't done here yet. This game really is huge. Ulti a leaf. I believe Golden Val is like around here, if I'm not mistaken. This might have been a mistake. Yep, fucking A. I think it's my first death in the game, besides the one with Grafted Skewing. So, I actually have a question for most people out there, but... Um, does anybody know, please let me know, if I can alter this once I get my hands on the Golden... Um, thread. Or wait, should we go for box? I don't want to waste people's time here. But if you guys don't know, that's all good. We'll just go and grab ourselves Golden Vow really quickly. He doesn't see us yet. He doesn't see us yet. See? Sneaky. Let's do this. Una! Take that. You shouldn't waste your time going about Your horse is dead and I am going... Ah, uh, I was going to do that really cool parry thing. I'm fat rolling. What the hell? Ura! I'm stuck at this. Fat roll. Jump attack. Yes! And there is a golden bow. Alright. I didn't realize we were fat rolling. I'm not putting on radigans. I refuse. But we do have golden bow now. Which is awesome. If I put that on a light dagger, we're looking pretty ganky. But yeah. Oh, wait. My goodness, you're correct. Even though this isn't a part of OG streams, I should still do it anyways. But if you guys are new, please make sure to like the stream. I always go to get to 10 likes on every single stream I make. So I would appreciate the support if you're new. But overall, what we're going to try and do now is get... Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Anyways, yeah, please. Let's get the 10 likes on every stream, guys. But overall, what I do want to do is grab this, um, Resicant Herniculus. It's not a big deal. Jesus Christ. Alright, whack you a few times. Yeah, he ain't got what it takes. Yeah, babe, you ain't got what it takes. Alright, anyways, we're going to... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, give me a nurple. This dude actually got a pretty cool weapon art. I believe it's the Eruption. I don't know if he can be parried, though. But there it is. There's Eruption. Watch out, that comes out of the ground. Um, we'll smack him. Damn it, my follow-up was shit. Alright. Thankfully, we have Mega Poise and Mega... Yeah... 
praise that stagger praise the stagger and they say that these axes aren't any good i beg to differ but that is one of the um i almost said radigan talisman but that is one of the mandatory talismans the hammer talisman we are going to need that for our build when we complete it but now we've done that we got in golden Val. we want the warmster shack we're looking incredible right now um let's see what's the time does anyone know what the time is time time hmm. hang a time check i look on my ipad but i don't want to mess up my continuity or whatever you want to call it anyways i would get fields balachin's blessing but i don't think balachin's blessing's worth unless you're fighting a bunch of really weak enemies that you need to basically push through with poise let's actually go to dude's emote nice what do you want what do you want anyways Got ourselves a dagger. Now we can use Golden Vow as long as we make fat rolling. But we're going to make our way up to hour 27. Thanks. Ooh, wait. We were, we were going to. Oh, man. Okay. Um, Let's do Bach side quest really quickly. Um, We can save Bach right at the beginning of the game. But, um, okay. Bach side quest isn't too hard to complete actually technically i could just completely ignore bach because bach would technically be over here at gate front so let's go there instead but anyways i still think we're doing pretty good as soon as we pick up box we will be golden because we're gonna do a side quest it's not too long i promise we just talked to him he's a bush thing tell us not to ignore him and then we grab his loot. I am surprised it's taken us an hour and a half to get this far. But we've been doing a lot of just running around rather than fighting. <clears throat> Ooh, oh, Sumi missing. I actually just missed the sight of grace there. But I don't know. Should we get the... um? Okay, here we go. But anyways, should we get the first talisman or not talisman first smithing stone bearing bell or should we just run around and start scavenging because we do fight a pretty cool crystallian boss but right, here's this is bach roll act like we care i do like his hat though reminds me of mario brothers all right but anyways thank you those are good for crafting bombs so it's not even useless they cost so much time but it's fun you know the world's very interesting and beautifully built so now we have now he brings up the short that's we're gonna make our way back to so we're gonna go back to the first step because we gotta go oh well i can't show up my finger but we basically are gonna go all the way around and we're gonna go to the shore so vare is here talk to the guy that killed our maiden fuck him but we are gonna need his mask so we are gonna have to talk to him anyways Vare side quest is not that long, but it does require a bit of effort. Because you gotta talk to Mirror, beat Godric to Grafted, have audience with two fingers, go over to um, Church of Blood, invade someone five times, don't need to kill them or lose. Then you gotta make your way over to. back to him. And then you have to basically dip your cloth in blood over at the Maiden, over at the Godfrey or four belfries actually i wonder if we should do that next well actually we can't because we need to kill godfrey and i don't or godrick and i'll just build. damn it well anyways, we'll get to it eventually i promise but anyways um we're almost at the place like i've said before um beret after we have dipped him or dipped the favor i believe is what's called in blood of our maiden that he killed yeah great guy am i right we are going to have to go back to him. He's going to give us the cool talisman item thingy that's going to allow us to teleport to Mogwin's Palace. So we go there, go into the cave area, fight him there, beat him. He's going to say he's dying. We kill his other three dudes, and then bam, bada bing, bada boom, it's ours. And I'm probably going to use my dragon community for that because bleeds a bitch. Do not worry. Buck, we shall come and save your mum's needle or at least retrieve it 
So these are demi humans. They're basically monkeys. They're prime. They're primates. And can you please leave me alone? I'm the hero here. You're the villain. Actually, we're fine. Mega poise mode activate! May the stagger of a justice be with thee. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is kind of crazy strong. Like, look at the poison stagger on this dude. Who who can stop me? Who? The most cliche um, villain line of all time. As long as we don't die here. Ah, uh, you've annoyed me for the last time. Choppy whoppy. One down. Yeah, seriously, don't underestimate this. The other dudes, ooh, fireflies. Anyways. Poise mode activate. Look at the low stamina and MP. Cause all <laughs> yeah, just move, bitch. Get out the way. What's good? Quick separate bloodhound set would have been nice. I, I forget what the dagger had equipped. Anyways, yeah. What What's that? Stay on the ground and die. We did it, boys. GG's. Can we get some likes on the stream if you haven't already? And, of course, subscribe to the notification bell for more cool shit like that. But, anyways. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves a needle. Um, Before we do anything else, don't worry. Box not going anywhere. But we are going to make our way to the other Dragon Communion place, which we should be getting to now. What's cool about this cave is that it actually takes us underground and under the water so that we can make it to that cool island. Actually, I think this is the wrong way. I think this is the way back to Bach. Eh, whatever. Excuse me, ladies, I'm assuming. Actually, no, I think this is the way to the Dragon Communion place. Yep, it's Dragon Communion place. Because that's where we came out of. Having a great time, everyone? Yeah, so am I. Yeah, but seriously, that wild strike shit, once you got decent armor and a decent amount of strength is just crazy. The poise and stagger potential we've done so far is just great. The only thing is against like the big boy bosses like Godric, Renala, Radon, it's not going to be the greatest, which is why we're holding off on fighting them. But as soon as I have the Giant Crusher and 40 Strength, we're going after Godric, so don't worry. Take that. I need your Beast Bones. Yeah, believe it or not, the um, Crackpot Firebombs or Firepots actually scale with Strength the best. But man, I would love to have some of those Rope Pots, am I right? Man, Ren, you could just ramble on forever and ever, can't ya? It's Elden Ring, man. What you expecting? But yeah, this is the low tier version. You can get some very meh, to say the least, um, incantations. But I highly recommend just going to Kaelid. Hello, Buck. If we give him the sewing needle here, um, I don't want to give him it yet. I just want to see if we can alter our garment, but... Fingers crossed, everybody. Can we alter it? Cannon. Yes! Let's fucking go! Back to the gory, baby! Yes! Can we get some likes on the streams? Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this, man! That's fucking badass. Oh, man. The cape is just... Fucking chef's kiss. Royalty strength and just overall fucking kick assness but anyways let's talk to Bach yeah give him a sewing needle make him happy and we have done two great things today haven't we oh man I appreciate it freeway but thank you Bach yes I know we're very kind so yeah, um, I do know his quest line is two ways it ends. I did do the bad ending last time. But now that we've done that, we can successfully... Mm. 
Okay, so we need to still get Giant Crusher. We can get Giant Crusher now. Or we could, you know, yeah, let's just get Giant Crusher. Then we'll return. We'll go to Weeping Peninsula. We'll mash down on Castle Morn after we storm it. But man, just take a second to kind of admire this. This is awesome, dude. Like, I don't know what that jewelry is on the back of it, but oh, it's just so regal and epic. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. Yeah, but the fact that you can get Bernal's this just super fucking epic and badass armor set right from the beginning of the game. It, it just shows how much freedom you have in Elden Ring. And not to mention its stats, dude. That's like competing with Radon's and Niels or O'Neill's, the commander's armor, right from the beginning of the game. From just killing a normal NPC. And there's that Wild Strikes weapon art we got on our axe. But yeah, honest to goodness, yeah, the cape's epic. I agree, Freeway. It's fucking, like, without it, it just feels so mundane. But once you put it on, it really shines. But again, the stats are what, like, I see people, like, using, like, um, what's it called? The scale armor and Raging Wolf, but I, like, uh, Bernal's armor is just so fucking cool. If you're doing a strength build, it's a must-have. Anyways, uh, sorry, go, uh, yeah, we're, mm. all right, yeah, I'm sorry, I got this for a little bit, anyways, we're doing great, guys, I think we're really bashing up, but one thing I do want to tell you guys right now is that I do end my streams when I get close to the two hour 30 minute mark, but don't worry, we'll start up directly after. Yeah, I get that vibe, man. I get that vibe. I actually did that for my um half a million runes video or stream I did. I just played naked the whole time on my Jasmine character. It's fucking awesome. The fact that you could look this badass at the beginning of the game. Like, you don't even need to leave Limgrave. If you can beat Bernal, you're basically set. It's just that Bernal is kind of a daunting opponent due to how much damage he dishes out in his poise and defense. It's really intimidating. But I would say it's incredibly um, doable. But here we can actually kick off the next part of... Um, what's his name? Box questline. There's Buck right there. Um, we can still alter our garments. Even though Buck's there, but Buck does it for free, which is the main difference. And the dude's overall a great guy. How could you, like, push him down, you know what I'm saying? We'll talk to him. Hello, Buck. How do you do? He's the seamster. But, yeah. So, we're gonna go over here to, um, the- Oh, wow, we're fat rolling? Uh, I don't want to put on freaking Radigans. Because I don't want to take 50% more damage when our health is still so low. So I guess I could deal with fat rolling for now. After I don't think we're going to get into much battles. We are going to go and take a stop over at the Frenzy Flame place. Just to pick up the one Sacred tier there. But besides that I can't say too much else. Shrimp builds are awesome. I just think Elden Ring has so much potential. Or it's just proven itself more than having potential is what I meant to say. To the point where you could play this, like, make new characters and keep playing this game in different ways. And the game will still never disappoint. Believe it or not, I still haven't tried out, like, at least 25 plus percent of the spells and weapons this game has. Just because I like making content creation and stuff I know that I can use. But anyways, there's that. Hello, merchant man. Do you know that undead merchants have frenzy powers? Yeah, who knew? Wait, are these unlimited kick ass? Doesn't look like he's got much, but that's all good. Um, there's two ways we can go. If we decide to go up that way, we, which is the way we want to go, we can get to grab the Dectus from there. But I want to grab ourselves this um 
What do we have here? You might be asking, well, it's the Larunia map of the east part. And when we get the ability to look at it again, you'll understand why. There is a wellspring over there you can jump up by, but we're going to go this way. Hope you are getting value from today's stream. I'm so happy I was able to, or I'm so happy you guys were able to join me on this stream. And I hope you all are getting value and enjoying the content. But before we go any further, I believe there is a nice item we can get here. It should be down here. No, no. Yes. Negro. Let's get down here. Yeah, if you are enjoying today's content, please leave a like on the stream. I'm always trying to go to get 10 likes per stream. And dog, you have worked on my last nerve. Shit. Ah, we were that close. Damn. I actually don't remember what's in that chest. I just remember getting for my rod to recon build and say, yeah, let's go back there and see. But damn, we died. All good though. Yeah, make sure to like the stream if you are getting value or enjoying today's content. Also, subscribe to the notification bell if you haven't already for more content like this on Eldering, all about on the channel. But we're going to make our way back to... Uh, where the hell is it at? Is it here? Okay, yeah, it's here. I don't think the fat rollings would kill me. I think it was just that asshole dog. But anyways, we'll pick back all of our stuff. There it is. Two fingers ha heirloom talisman, which I believe raises faith. Great to have, actually, if you're going to do a low-level PvP build. But overall, um, we're not going to really need it. Bolt. But if anyone wants to talk or ask questions, go right for it, man. Honestly, guys, if people would talk more, like in the parts when it, we're like going really slow, moving around, running long distances through like Larunia or Limgrave, it wouldn't be as boring. Maybe it's just my voice. People get tired of listening to it after a while. But I do appreciate the ones that do stick over here. I, I just can't believe you can get the set right at the beginning of the game. I'm, I'm still in shock of that, man. Get this so early. It's so epic. And it's so good. It literally is on par with Radon's and Niel's, the commander set. Also, this is one of the best places to AFK farm. But I don't really respect most AFK farmers since they'll, like, put themselves in really high up end places to hide from invaders, which is annoying. And I can't really respect that too much, but got some broken dog. Hey, hey, some dude. What is up, man? Look at the armor set. We got it. Fucking badass. First area. Don't worry. We'll have a... This will be up for replay. So you can see how I got it and how I altered it. But man. Glad to see you're back. But for real, this armor set is fucking kick-ass. Honestly, the cape is just a chef's kiss. You didn't miss a whole lot, but you definitely missed a really cool armor set that we picked up. Or at least me getting it. But anyways, we'll keep going this way. Is that a dog? Oh no, these are wolves. There's Carrion Study Hall, I believe. Or is that? No, that's Divine Tower of Larunia. I'm dumb. I hope everyone is enjoying their time, though. I certainly am. Mmm. Yeah, I agree. It does take a long time to get there. Ah, oh, shit. I just picked up excrement. Actually, I think there's a boss here. Not here exactly, but around this place with the carrying study hall that we can fight and get a death route from. I believe it's the um, Tabina Mariners. I don't know if we have... I'm not going to try to fight him just yet. But man, I think a lot of people really do underestimate this armor set. Because they think, ah, burn out, all boring, this armor set's ugly, and yada, yada, yada. But they don't realize just how powerful this armor set is. It kicks ass. Man, it's just really good. Um, Where's the artist shack at? Hello, Lion Del Knight. Oh, we missed it. It's the other way. Carrion, um... Where is it? Carrion Study Hall. Once we're done with Ronnie's side quest, we'll be good. Wait, if I commit a sin, Ronnie, um, no, we're not. We haven't even beat Godric yet. 
I'm still on my way to getting the Dragon Crusher so far. We aren't fighting any Shard Bears, so I pick up the um, Giant Crusher and a few other items. Um, where the heck is this? Yeah, for real. This armor set is so big ass. Yeah, it, it's so good. What is there to hate about it? It just is so regal, so macho, so impenetrable. It's just, it's so good. The fact that you could get this in the first area if you're good enough to kill Bernal is still, like, mind-boggling to me. Okay, so I can't find the Sight of Grace here. So I guess I'll just have to run here, run back here later. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight you. Let me just hit you a few times. Okay, yeah, you're not going to let me. Oh, there's the shack. So, Jellyfish Shield, we can still pick up. I might end up saving it for later, though, because it was in the other direction. Resurrection Painting. I don't remember exactly which painting that goes to, or what character that goes to, but it is really good. So, we still need to get Giant Crusher. While we're in Larunia, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get... Roderica's armor set as well because it's kind of we're gonna have to go in that direction anyways um we're gonna pick up two well two types of cookbooks for our perfumers and we're also gonna pick up the perfumer talisman though we're not gonna use it but we are gonna pick up blood boil um uplifting aromatic we're also going to get ourselves the spark aromatic and then there's like another one I don't remember what it's called. Overall, we're going to be picking up a lot of perfume there. <laughs> so, ladies, this is for you. Unless you're a guy and you like perfume, which is okay, I guess. I mean, cologne's more masculine, but whatever. Oh, I can't do the voice right now. Oh, what the crust? I don't want to die. The e uh, oh, excuse me. The emote isn't worth it, Run, but I'm going to grab it anyways. Flame, spur me. There's Dr. Patch's junior machine. All right, boop, boop, boop. Um, you can attack him from the back, or if you jump on top of him, you can actually get an easy kill, which will blow him up. Just get away in time. But that's from my 50 tips video. Check down Elden Ring playlist. But instead, what we're going to go for... Uh, Commander's... Sekpaku's by far going to be one of the last things we're going to get on this build. Oh, yeah, I should. You're right. Actually, we're almost there. Yeah, we'll go visit the dog, dude. It's right here, Church of Elves. Uh, I could get... I don't know, do I want to get Church of Elves? Uh, it doesn't matter. Golden Needle and the Golden Crafting or Sewing Kits here. Ah, looking like a badass even though we're fat rolling. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it either. But I don't care enough. I think actually this does affect our running speed, but hello. Marielle. You big old dog. Seriously, dogs being called tur turtles being called dogs. Take it with you. Search instruction. In which case, we could study sorceries. I don't really care too much about the lore, but there's ooh faith is. I don't know. We're not gonna go too high on faith because this is not a cleric build. But if you have celestial do you can atone. But there we go. Now we can tailor up and alter our boss armor sets, and we can also give that to. Um, Buck, which he will then become the Master Suster, Soster. So that's also great. Let me just make sure. Yep, side of grace. All right. Thank you. Just some random dude on, or just some dude on the internet for that advice. But um, yeah, we're going to go this way now. So we're looking pretty good. We just got to make our way down here. Again, I do appreciate everybody so far who has participated on the stream. Um, if you want to contribute to the stream, you can always leave a like. Helps me out a lot, especially if you're getting value from today's content. Subscribe with the notification bell so that you guys don't miss when I upload more videos like this. And make sure to actually go and follow my other socials, but please join my Discord server, guys. And oh god, we're in a really bad area, but anyways, yeah, please join the Discord server. I could use more of you dudes' opinions and chat with you guys. I actually think it's pretty cool. Our Discord server's grown. I think we're almost at like 50 people, which is awesome for me. But that's enough of that. Let's get on. 
I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Too busy gaming on like I usually do. Tarnished golden sunflower. Alright, uh, I, I'm very scared for my well-being here because these dudes actually can really... T they could just hit a number on you, alright? And I'm fat rolling, but... Ha 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 ha, we got it! If anyone else wants to answer the question on how many likes are on the video, you are more than welcome to. While I make my way up north so we can get to the frenzy town. Oh, shit, there's first hit. If it wasn't first armor set, we likely would have died. Ah, uh, yes. And there is a moving sentinel that we can't even use yet. Or walking monument. Or bell turtle. Not just that. It's the fact that it's so powerful. It can, like, one-shot you if your armor is really bad. The ancestral archers are by far some of the most heinous things in the game. <sighs> Isn't this the life? We're making it far. I'm actually going to rest this side of grace because this next area up ahead is pretty harsh. I do hope that the quality of the stream is looking good, guys. So, giant crusher. Yeah, he's not going to be too high. He's going to try to jump and crush us. Thankfully, Torn can do the Mario, so we're okay. Make our way over here. Hit you because you're annoying. Wow, we do good damage. Hit him because he's annoying. Not going to try to take down Big Boy yet. No, no, no. Taking down Big Boy right now will be a mistake. If Erd Tree... Uh, the Erd Tree avatars are actually making a lore video on them in my consumable video which make sure you do stay tuned for um they're very interesting i won't spoil what they are but they do have a past with the earth tree obviously which you can figure out once that video drops no i gotta get up i hate this jump no we don't have to double jump oh god this is annoying Nope. Torrent. Oh, shit. We're dead. Oh, no. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I agree. Jesus hell. Those guys are fucking annoying. Alright, let's give that another whirl, shall we? That was kind of shitty. Ah, oh, what the fuck? We were so close. Come on. Yeah, I didn't have to jump a second time. Usually I can get this first try, but this, just today, it's like saying no. Nah. Actually, I think we can make it from the second one. I don't think we need the first pillar. Yeah, we don't need the first pillar. Or the final pill. Damn it, Torrent, why don't you jump? I know we can make this. I know I can make this. There we go. Finally, okay. First things first, watch out for Frenzy. Second thing, second, GTFO. Okay, I don't remember where's. Okay. That's the rise, so that means that the frenzy tower of bullshit's over here. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna make our way through here. Cookbook. I believe we can also pick up Shabiri's Woe as well. You will. Uh, Eyes of Yolig. I have no clue how we say that. Careful, these guys use eye lasers. Everyone's frenzied as fuck here. Not happy campers. Alright, this is where it gets really scary because Vike is an absolute fucking goat. And not in the good way. I'm actually going to come this way really quickly. I want to grab the sword stone key. Sword stone key! Nice. We're doing great.
It's funny because we run like this far and no, like only the boys are watching. But then once like interesting stuff happens, like I'm fighting a boss fight, that's when people just start pouring in. Ugh, I don't understand people sometimes. Vike is incredibly intimidating, even with the stuff we have. Um, Frenzy is not something to mess with, and that's a great spear he's using. Vike was the tarnish that we succeed, technically speaking. It's raining. Please do something of importance. I don't expect to beat Vike. I just want my shit. I lit the bonfire, or side grace, which is great. Um, yeah. Uh, no, you don't. Finger main set. I'm sorry, right now, it's not worth fighting him. Because, number one, I don't need to. I'm not going to use a spear. And number two, he will fuck me up. Anyone have any suggestions? Ooh, Miquela Lily. Very rare to see those early on. Miquelian Sword is a very good one. Oh, jeez, oh, what the hell are you still doing here, Vike? Get out of here. Vike, you frenzied fucker. Oh my god. Anyways, we're doing pretty great. There's a amber eye. Or a yellow amber. Fun fact. Grapes and Elder Ring are actually um, insane eyes of human beings and victims. Yeah. So if you didn't know that, now you do. That's what there's a like on the stream, right, everyone that's new? Oh shit, this is a really fucking bad idea. All I see is frenzy. And I see Vike up my ass behind me. Um, we're making our way to Grand Lift and Dectus. We're gonna die. Here, we're making our way to Grand Lift and Dectus. As long as I don't fucking die. I believe we can make this drop. Alright, we did it. Vike's following us. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Vike finally fucked off. It's a miracle. Vike is not fun to fight when you're low level. And don't have a complete build that really can do incredible damage. Over here is the frenzy flame of you're fucked. Um, your best friend is rocks in this scenario. So hide behind something or prepare to go insane. And let me tell you right now, frenzy's not fun to deal with. So we're just going to try to make our way over here as fast as we possibly can. Oh, hello, rat. You're very fat and get the hell away from me. Oh, shit. Heal, heal. Oh, man. We're going to die. I'm just spamming the heal button. Nice. Oh, boy. We're going to die. All right. That's reassuring. I have my crimson tear on instead of the stamina one. Oh no, I do have the stamina one on. I don't have the spikes. Well, either way, I'm still thankful. But yeah, for any of you guys who are new and joining the content, please leave a like on the stream. I appreciate it so much. Always try to go to get 10 likes on the stream and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I upload more Elden Ring content, which check it out. Got an Elden Ring playlist, over 130 videos for you to enjoy and get value from. But anyways, um, oh my goodness. This has been one hell of a fucking ride, hasn't it? Can't end the stream at all until we pick up the Great Hammer. Or the Colossal Weapon for some reason. They're not called Great Hammers anymore, but now we have Great Spears? Which, okay. No one's like, I think it was like Vikes, but yeah. We're doing great. Oh, that was kind of cursed. But anyways. Upgrade our flask. I don't have enough. That's weird. One, two. Okay, this should be at like plus three now. Um, are we ready to go to Altus Plateau? I'm certainly ready. Yeah. Turns out when you're at a light load, you go way faster. Oof. Excuse me. Thunderhawk. Uh, we can't really get Thunderhawk axes yet. Even though they're really good due to our Ash of War. All right, we're making it places. Ah, 
Altus Plateau, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Like my favorite area in the game. The vibe it gives off is so good. Um, we're gonna hit up this side of grace over here. Because this is Bach's next spot. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. But seriously guys, I can't stress enough to subscribe with the notification bell for when my quality videos come out. Because that is when this is going to get a very interesting indeed. Especially when I unlock my other NPC guide video, which you're not going to want to miss. Trust me, but there we go. Box here. Um, we didn't say anything else. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. We're not fighting that guy anywhere close to. We're nowhere close to fighting him. Remember, I haven't killed any enemies. I still don't have my weapon yet. But I'm going to go and pick up the... Yeah, we're going to grab the weapon right now. The weapon of incredible importance and the piece of resistance. Which is best known as the dra... I almost said Dragon Crusher. Not Demon Souls. The Giant Crusher. Which we're going to actually obtain four more golden seeds as well. But yeah, we're going to be fine. Um, okay, I thought there was an item there. Yeah, 25 strength. We don't have nearly enough. So what we're going to do instead is... Oof. And we have Crystallian Ashes. I don't feel like really using Rivers of Blood, or not Rivers of Blood, but Reduvia just yet. But what I do feel like doing is... Do, do, do. No, don't chew me with that. Rude. Anyways. Yeah, there's two tree sounds up here. Have fun. Oda, 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 oda. No, no, stay away from me. Hey, guys, want to fight them? They're probably the dynamic duo, but way stronger. And there's now two of them. And over here. We can pick up four golden seeds. And also, the giant crusher. I sense it. It is near. It is so near. Anyways. Hit up the grace before they come and kill us. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Lords and ladies. And everyone else within the lands between. We can finally make our way down to get the Dragon Crusher. Or, damn it, Giant Crusher. Let me grab this first. The map's pretty important. Map, honestly, the map can help us out a lot more. Yes! Unless I'm wrong, then damn it. Wow, they both dropped something. Holy shit. Okay, over here. There's unfortunately a um, Dark Souls 3 beta enemy here, aka the Herculated Tree Spirit. But we just gotta sneak our way over here. Aw, oh, fucking A. Oh, hell break loose. Mama got free. Alright. Ha, 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 ha. Giant Crusher. Alright, we did it. We did it. It's ours. The Dragon Crusher. Incredibly heavy. Whopping, weighing a whopping 26.5 units. Which, again, that's just whew, too much for me. For right now, especially with this armor set on. But that is by far one of the strongest weapons we have. We will have to be lighter to equip it. But we need 40 strength right now. No, I'm not using Radigans. Stop telling me to do that. I'm not doing that. Um, We could kill Urculite True Spirit to get a um, Golden Seed. But unfortunately, we aren't strong enough to beat him yet. And that will be a death wish. So instead, we're going to make it right up north. Where there's another church that doesn't give us any... 
sacred tears, but it does give us a seal if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Dragon Crusher is pretty cool. I mean, there was the Dragon Bone Smasher in Demon Souls, which was fucking amazing. Best strength weapon, hands down. Yep, Missionary's Cookbook. Dual wield whose weapon? There we go. Wow, wow, there was a fucking ton of golden centipedes on this tree. But there's a golden order seal. Wait, what weapon? If we take a look here on um, that, let me see. How many did I just pick up? Whew! Six on that tree! Oh my god. Fuck, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right, it is. Um, we're gonna grab a few more things. By the way, how we look on time on the stream? I'm not gonna dual wheel no giant crusher yet. Is there even two in the game? Actually, no, that's the greatest idea. I'm not gonna use that. What I am gonna do is make my way up here. We gotta be able to wheel. I mean, I guess I could technically put on Radigans. But then we're still lacking 40 or 10 strength. Well, the Dragon Crusher is from Demon Souls. And you could get two of them in that game if you go on New Game. I mean, Dragon Bone Crusher isn't even in this game. But we're gonna make our way over here. Um, there is a Mergit Wannabe. Funny enough, I'm not gonna fight him. He's the lanky dude that's standing right here. Yeah, you see me, all right. Fuck you, Margaret. Yeah, second one. I mean, that's for either game, Demon Souls or Elden Ring. But still, this thing's incredibly powerful, even on the first. You'll see what I mean. Um, we're gonna grab ourselves Outer Wall Battleground. Uh, okay. Um, so now we have to. Okay, yeah, uh, I think we just run from here up to there. It's quite the fucking trek, to say the least, but we're going to get to see some interesting things, pick up a few more items. It's going to be a good time. It shouldn't take us more than, like, five minutes, if even. I know there is, like, a light you can get. or not a light, goddammit. A, um, actual war you can pick up here. I think it's, like, the lightning smash, which is a really useless actual war. Because of how horribly timed it is, but. Oh, leave me the fuck alone. Hiya! Noise. Lightning slash. Muda, muda, muda. Alright, there's lightning slash, a completely useless ash war. There is the um, windmill place where we can not get Rotorikas set at. We're gonna get that over. At, oh boy, I don't like the looks of him. Golden arrow. Ah, get out of my way. I should just use a weapon art, you're right. Incredible poise. And flailing gets you far in Elden Ring. Again, I do appreciate everyone that is still watching the stream and vibing with me. Ha <laughs> They stand no chance. Rah! Almost there. Is this the ballista? Actually, I don't think it's the ballista. Oh, grape bow. Sweet. Even though you can get the earth tree grape bow at the beginning of the game. Oh, we just died. I really keep overestimating jumps here. I think I'm going to die, but... Anyways, we're almost there. Hang in there with me. If anyone give me a time check, too. I'd appreciate that a lot. Again, I check myself when I'm playing through this. And I don't want to click and fuck up the stream. Sometimes when I'm sliding down walls, I think I'm going to end up dying because I fall. It's like, ah, oh, shit. 
because sometimes there's like a one second lag where it processes your fall to determine whether or not you're gonna get insta killed or not. Plus, what's the like long cat, long tail cat tails before it's like completely useless? You'll probably end up missing barely anything if we even, that's if we even live. All right. <sighs> okay, we're almost there. My goodness. Almost there. Freeway, if you're watching, we're about to pick up um, Roderica's set right now with the Navy Hood. East Windmill Pasture. Da -na -na -na. We just picked it up and we're good to go. There you go. So Roderica's set is on ours. Along with the Navy Hood, which increases our mana by one point. Or our mine by one point. Well then, you're good to go. So now that we've done that, we're going to have to take a quick look over here. There's Gold Mask. Can we even kill Gold Mask? Ah, uh, shit. Well, that's okay. If we would have fell the other way, we would have been Gucci. No problem. Alright. There really is only two other things I really need to pick up. The first one is going to be the perfumer stuff. The second one is going to be the perfume. We got about 22-ish minutes before I, I have to end the stream and start a new one. So I hope you guys don't mind that. But we are going to try. We usually cut right over here because the earth tree place isn't too far. It's just a flat walk. Got the golden order like literally trademarked all over this camp. Holy Christ. Wow. That was fucking bullshit if I've ever seen it. Good thing I got zero runes or else that could have been very catastrophic. We can definitely get to the, I think personally, well, that's less when I go through that, but I think personally, perfumer runes shouldn't be too bad. It's just going to be a bit more of, am I good enough to get past the Oni killer? I want to go around this time, like a smart person would have, but the statue of Mark is right there. I wonder why it didn't hit last time. But we're basically almost at the next side of Grace. Very close by. Which, if you got Torrent, traveling the lands is easy, but man, Atlas is just so fucking cool. Wow. Especially the Erd Tree. Da -na -na -na. Golden Seed! We're doing really good. Alright, it's time to start backtracking. Pick up a few aromatics. Uh, no you don't. Nice. Can't believe how good this is. Usually when we get to this point, it's all bogged down, but we're doing... Not bad, we're hanging in there for sure. Yes! Hmm. The fact that we've made it this far still shocks me. There's a lot of these chariots, dude. 
or catamaran, not catamarans, damn it. Um, not chariots, chariots, no. Not catamarans, what the fuck are they called? Uh, caveats? They're all caveats, right? That's what those things are called? Well, anyways, here's the perfumer runes. Get ready for some high quality bullshit. If we die here, it's not gonna be fun. This area is by far one of the most unforgiving areas I've ever seen for a new, for a player that's incredibly underleveled. You'll see why in a second here. Let me just get past all these assholes. Bam. Perfume bottle one. And if you can guess already, this is perfumer bottle two. Pray to goodness gracious that that dude up there, the only killer who doesn't run after us down here. Perfect towels or perfumer's talisman. Not going to be of too much importance, but the chest over here definitely is. Damn you stupid flowers out of my way. Holy shit. Are we actually going to get out of this area without dying? I wouldn't even believe you if you told me that. Holy shit, we're actually going to do this. That's crazy. Uh, Max perfume bottles? I'm not sure. I think there's like 10 in the game. If you're asking about the max I have right now, um... Ooh, wow, I have quite a few golden seeds, but uh, I can have three. Still not too bad. You got only seven, not bad. Doing a lot better than this character is. Gotta let you know what you're doing this game. It's really fun and easy. Sacred order. Alright. I like to earth tree grazing. I think we have just enough time to knock out the castle segment. Which isn't going to take us too long because we're actually very close right now. So while we're right now, I'll show you um, the different types of talismans we can make or perfumes we can make. Um, free recoil quick once, spark aromatic and uplifting. Spark is basically a flame shroud and uplifting gives us basically the ability of the opaline hearts here ash of war where we can take or not ash of war physic concoction where we can basically negate 90 percent of a damage that's we um take for one hit after that it just boosts i believe our attack power which still is bad at all i think it's like 10 percent in pve and 7.5 percent in pvp Still generous, nonetheless, for a consumable. And it, I believe it can still be stacked with Golden Vow. But man, we made it so far. We don't want to go this way. We can eventually, but not now. I don't know if I'm going to do get the Raging Wolf set on this character. Because Bloody Finger... I don't know if there's really a reason to go to um, Volcano Manor. I'm not going to get a Raging Wolf set. I don't need any of the stuff from it. I don't. We're going to get an Invading Bloody Finger anyways from Vare. Wow. Vare side quest really is kick ass. Ah, uh, yes. Shaded Castle, I think, is what it's called. I don't know if I need Flame Give Me Strength. Might not be a bad investment though, I'll keep it in mind. Nope, don't attack me. We're doing excellent, man. Alright. Here we go. Um, if you have Bloodhound Step, this area is not too bad. Alright. Ah, uh, yes. <sighs> this is fucking something else. 
Up here is where we gotta go. I'm not sure why. But, oh my god. To think that we made this far without even fighting any of the main shard bears. I think the only boss we fought so far is Dr. Patches Jr., right? Because I don't really consider Grey Roll a boss since he doesn't really attack and doesn't have a health bar like one. Alright, um, these guys can be annoying, so let me see. What is the daggers I should wear? Quick step up, perfect. Gonna need that. Even though Bloodhound's step would be more favorable, it's still good to have just in case. Huh, alright, didn't need it. Nice. And we're not fat rolling. Another double nice. So we got the... Um, side of grace right up ahead here. Alright, we're gonna go up here. Alright, we're almost there, baby. Little bit more. Should have taken this off, actually. There's a page in here, and I fucking hate pages. Aristocrats are just as annoying, but pages are the bane of you. That fucker gets up here, he will fuck your shit up. They can't climb ladders? I thought they could. Ooh. Here it is. Nice. Well, that's part one completed. Overall, this has been a great stream. That's everything we need from here. So it looks like all that's left is to... Go back to um, gate front and complete what we were going to do. Oh, no, jellyfish shield. Damn it. But, yeah, we looking pretty good. I think we'll get... Um, I don't know if we have enough time for jellyfish shield, actually. But what I do know we have enough time for is at least to go and hit up a few sites of grace. Um, the first one isn't too far. If we just go straight northwestern here, we should be able to eventually hit two sites of grace. There's also a wraith bell, but I'm not too keen on grabbing that just yet. But there's a ton, a ton of wraithy wraiths here. And then you have mountain wraiths, fuck them. But anyways, here's another site of grace we can pick up. The Runiata Lakes really is made a lot easier with Torrent. Not having Torrent is like... I remember my first time going through this with Tyler on co-op. Jesus Christ. Running the whole way was like... Just took a long time. But anyways, we're almost there now. Don't feel like fighting you. We go directly north. Um, wow, there's a lot of wraiths, man. Oh, man. Hello. So she is the woman from Volcano Manor. And here, request. Shut up, you're wasting valuable time. Okay. Okay, shut up. All I did was jump. Is that all you say? Alright, that's all she says. Now, from here, Bargart's place, if I'm not um, wrong, is actually that way, but is this Scenic Isle, Sight of Grace? What the fuck? Oh, it's Dr. Patches Jr. Fortunately, we don't have the runes right now to buy Merigat's Shackle, but he's there if we want him to be. Um... Overall, Great Belfries are pretty far still. But there is the Margit Shackle. We could definitely come back here. Eh, you know, this might be 5,000. Is this? Nah, let's just get Margit Shackle right off the bat. I don't even care anymore. We could always go back to Limgrave, kill a few more enemies. And probably kill Margit will give us enough. I'm not too keen on getting Scarab right now. That's too much, but anyways. Yes! That's all we really need from Dr. Patches Jr. for now.
Jesus, hell, what the fuck is Tentacle Monster doing here? Anyways, I saw Bargart's joint over here. We do have over a thousand runes, so we can buy the necklace back. Not that I'm really too keen on it. I'd rather just do it just to progress the side quest. Give me a necklace. Probably weighs you cheap bastard. Purchase it for 1,000. Hit up the grace. And with that, I think that's going to be a pretty good place to stop today's stream. Um, this is only part one of today's though, so keep in mind. There will be a part two, like, within the next ten minutes. I just want to take a bit of a break. Hope you guys don't mind. But overall, yeah, that's part one of um, the strength build. I hope you guys enjoyed. And in part two, we are going to take on... Well, basically, hopefully, we're going to actually against the battle be able to wield the giant crusher effectively. But until then, I'll leave a I must uh, to everyone for watching the stream. Like if you haven't already, subscribe with the notification bell for more content like this. Join my Discord server, follow my other socials, check out the merch, buy a little bit if you want to help support the stream. And until next time, use my coupon code RENCREATES at AOA.com to save up to 3% on your next purchase. But make sure to rise my fellow tarnished and... I'll see you on the next stream. Peace.